Hello, and welcome to Dallas's Eddie Bernice Johnson Union Station. Today we are taking a ride on the Trinity Railway Express, or TRE, from Dallas to Fort Worth. Built in 1916, Union Station served as a consolidation of the five railway stations that served the Dallas area. Though the heyday has passed, the station still stands, although it's definitely not as nice as it was in the past. The station was named in honor of Eddie Bernice Johnson in 2016, who represented Texas in the U.S. House of Representatives. The station hall is really just a massive waiting area, with very few amenities. The only major services are Amtrak's ticketing and customer service desks. There's plenty of space for tons of people, but it's entirely empty, aside from the security guard doing the rounds. The waiting room for Union Station used to be on the second floor, with a ton more space, and was connected to the platforms via an elevated walkway. Unfortunately, the Grand Hall was abandoned in favor of the current waiting area, as passengers did not appreciate the walk upstairs to get there. As the name implies, Union Station was created as a union of railways into one station, with a total of nine railways having served the station in the past. And in homage to this, Union Station displays route names of previous trains in a small plaza just before the platforms. The routes include the Texas Chief, Texas Eagle, Cotton Belt Route, Twin Star Rocket, Sam Houston Zephyr, Sunshine Special, and Black Gold. In addition to the Trinity Railway Express, Union Station serves Amtrak's Texas Eagle and the Dart Red and Blue Lines. Freight trains are also a common sight at the station as it is located on a section of the BNSF Railway. Amtrak's Texas Eagle made its westbound departure not a few minutes before I boarded. Tickets for the TRE are sold from any of the ticket machines located on the platforms. From said machines, tickets can be purchased for any of the DFW railways, with local and regional passes for sale, as well as single rides. Regional passes grant access to TRE, Texrail, DART, and Denton A train services, as well as all buses in the area. Said regional day passes will cost $12, which is absolutely worth it if you plan on using the transit systems to get around the DFW area. Walking out to the platform, we finally get a look at our train. Pulling us along today is TRE number 570, an EMD F59 PHI built in 2001, and is one of two that TRE owns. These engines used to be super common in the US, but are slowly being phased out in favor of the newer, more efficient engines like the Siemens SC44 Charger and EMD F125. In tow are two Bombardier bi-level coaches, a staple commuter rail car in North America. The stairs and Bombardier bi-levels are on either side of the car and are immediately accessible upon boarding. The first coach on this train was quite busy, so I decided to walk through to the next car and take up residence in the upper level. Seating on these cars is fairly standard, but I do have plenty of legroom. The indent in the back of the seat in front certainly helps with that. There is a grab handle on the top of the seats to allow for easy entrance and egress. There are also cup holders and an armrest in between each of the seats. The cars are very clean throughout, and feature a dot matrix destination sign at each end, as well as space for bags above the seats. Right on time, we pulled out of Union Station and began our one hour journey to Fort Worth. As we depart Dallas, let's take a look at some quick stats about our train and the route. Our train today is TRE number 3925, and is pulled along by EMD F59 PHI locomotive number 570. F-59 PHIs are powered by an EMD 710 V12 engine, 
producing 3,200 horsepower and 290 kilonewtons of tractive effort, which propels this locomotive to a top speed of 110 miles per hour. The two coaches on today's train are Bombardier bi-levels. One is a full coach and one is a cab car, allowing the train to run in both directions. Previously, this route was run using bud rail diesel cars, but those were sold off in 2011. Opened in 1996, the Trinity Railway Express runs a total of 34 miles between Fort Worth and Dallas with 10 stations on the route and sees a daily ridership of 8,400. Amtrak's Texas Eagle also uses this stretch of track between Dallas and Fort Worth. The ride on these Bombardier coaches is very nice, with a super quiet and comfortable ride. Despite being on the upper level, the bumps in the railway are almost entirely isolated from the riding experience. TRE shares track with the Dallas, Garland, and Northeastern Railway through Irving, Texas. One of their yards is seen here, with plenty of locomotives scattered around. If you want to be around when more videos get posted, please hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really helps support the channel and the content I make. I would love to keep doing this for as long as possible, and your support helps me continue to do so. Thanks! The downstairs of these coaches is very similar to the upstairs, but also includes a bathroom, bike racks, and accessible seating. Stops on the route are very short, with only a few people getting on or off at each station. The stop here at West Irving Station took only about 30 seconds. It's also worth noting that despite being called a bi-level car, there really are three seating levels, with one on the bottom, one on the top, and one in the middle, at the landing of the stairs on either side. Before we pull into Fort Worth, let's take a look at the bathroom on board. The restroom is surprisingly clean, and everything is in working order. The sink is a little weird to operate though, requiring that passengers push up on a bar in the middle of the tap to allow water to flow. I appreciate that this bathroom is kept clean, especially during the current world climate. The TRE tracks run under the Union Pacific Railway just before arriving in Fort Worth Central, and the keen-eyed will spot a certain set of coaches on that line. Those coaches are the reason I was in the DFW area. If you haven't picked up on it already, Union Pacific was running Big Boy 4014 on an excursion run across the US and was stopped in Fort Worth for the day. The Big Boy is an incredible locomotive with a 4884 wheel arrangement, 7,000 horsepower, and a total weight of 1,198,500 pounds. Videos and pictures do not do it justice, so go see it in person if you ever have the chance. Finally, after just over an hour, we pulled into Fort Worth Central Station. This is actually not the last station on the TRE route, with the terminus being Fort Worth TMP station just a few minutes away. As I walked to the station building, a Trinity Metro Texrail train pulled into the station. Texrail runs from Fort Worth up to DFW Airport via the Cotton Belt Railway. I'll be doing a video on that trip in the future, so stick around if you want to be here when that comes out. Next week I'll be back in the Northeast US to take a ride on the MTA's Metro North Railroad up to Botanical Gardens. While we've got a second, I just want to say thank you for all of the awesome support and growth I've seen on the channel in the past few weeks. 
It really means a lot to me and it helps motivate me to continue to make awesome content. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you never miss another video. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for riding with me and I'll see you in the next one.